Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Adventures in Golf. And this episode's a little bit unique because this story doesn't take place in any physical location. We're going to the metaverse. For as long as I've been playing golf, there's always been talk about its future. What will it look like? Can it be sustained in its current form? And how do we make golf the game that we want it to be? I don't have all the answers, but on this episode of Adventures in Golf, we're gonna meet with two companies that believe technology is what will unite the golf world and foster the sport into a new era. Wow. Thankfully in VR, you can't shank golf balls. You made that not possible? Uh, it is not possible yet, yeah, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> this is Ryan Engel, the founder and CEO of Golf Plus, a virtual reality game available within the popular Meta Quest ecosystem. Do you think people would opt for the option to shank? I think there are some people that would love to shank and top it and chunk it, and <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> We're not trying to replace any aspect of golf by bringing it into VR. We see it as just purely additive. Like the more golf you play in VR, the more golf you want to play in the real world, the more you play for real, the more you want to play in VR. And it's this like amazing virtuous cycle. So everything that we do, we want it to be additive. Oh my God. Wow, <laughs> dude, that was sick. That felt good. <laughs> That's the tightest gap I've ever seen. It was like, there was nothing there. <laughs> You know, when you look around at the golf course, what I'm kind of noticing right now is the imperfections. Yeah. And yep. I'm wondering how do you like contextualize that because you don't have any, you know, unseated areas. No, we don't. And ideally we would, honestly. Because, you know, it, golf's not perfect. Sometimes your ball ends up in a divot, you know, in the middle of the fairway or whatever. And right now we don't have that, but it's just kind of another one of those interesting twists in the game. It's like one of those like lottery moments. Like, did I get a good lie or am I just right. totally screwed? Nice shot. You came into this because of your love for, you know, traditional golf on grass. 100%. Been playing since I was 11 with my dad. The best moments of my life with my dad have been on a golf course. Some of my best memories, good friends from high school. Uh, so yeah, it's just given so much to me that it's like, I want more people to get into it. Uh, Ace Cam is live here. Oh, One, man. 120. Well, I think you got honors. I don't know uh, how okay. you want to do it. This course inspired the, the first and second courses in Golf Plus? Yeah, exactly. So there's, uh, this is Jimmy Clay, and then on the other side is, is Roy Kaiser. These are the two courses I've played more than any courses in my life. Uh, they're just municipal courses in Austin. And, you know, I met my co-founder on Jimmy Clay. Um, so we really wanted to, like, sort of pay homage to these courses that both of us have played and how we met and they're in Austin so we use them kind of as a basis and then built out sort of more fantastical scenery around them yeah I mean they look like they're in Fiji yeah like they yeah. look like they're in like Mars Completely with water different. 100 yeah. percent this is the office this is the golf plus headquarters this is my paradise like, this office is like what I've dreamt about having since I was a kid. Like, a simulator, it's a few minutes from my house. Uh, I got my computer set up. We've got a bunch of golf equipment that makes sense for the business, but I also get to play with. It's, it's, almost, uh, it's almost surreal to sort of sit here and be in our office and realize, like, I get to come here every day. All right, so Rob here's getting the avatar set up. Yeah, that's right. This is a special avatar I'm hearing? Yeah. Just what is for you. What? Just for you. <laughs> Can I see it? Just look at you, I mean. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? You can't, you can't sell short. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's crazy. pretty yeah. good, man. Right? That is so cool, dude. I like this shirt too. That's good. We met less than a year ago, but what's what's changing now? What's what's like happening now? Yeah, when we met, the game had just launched, and I think it was even before Christmas. So there, we were still kind of in this moment of like, how how well is this really going to work? And since then, we've had like over 4 million rounds of VR golf played, like 400 Jeez. million shots are hit in game. We've had 10 years worth of golf played on our Alpine course, which is based on Jimmy Clay. Like 10 years worth of golf have been played on that course in the last like few months. So that's been amazing. And then we've just started to try to better understand our customers, like who is actually playing Golf Plus and why are they playing it? And the coolest stat that we have is about 50% of the players in game either don't play golf or they've only played a few times over the last year. Interesting. So we're getting all this amazing feedback. We just got a message from a dad recently that was like, thank you guys so much for making this game. My 13 year old lost interest in the sport and now he's been playing golf plus and now he wants to go out and play with me again for real. Right. And for us, like that's that's like, those are the greatest moments. Can I, can I get a little practice in before I have this match here with Ryan? I'm a big fan of Golf Plus, and I play it at home whenever I get the chance. But today, I'm going up against the guy who created the game. So I need a little practice to boost my confidence. That was a rip. That felt good. That was a rip. Woo! I mean, it's dissatisfying. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's just sad. I mean, 295. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, 300. It keeps going. This has happened. All right, I got my room set up, so whenever you're ready. I'm ready to go. You ready to rock? Originally, we were called Pro Putt, and we were a putting game. And we partnered with Top Golf. So eventually, we were Top Golf with Pro Putt, and we built out a virtual Top Golf venue. And then we realized we wanted to build out the full golf experience. And at that time, we kind of realized, like, we need to start building our own brand. You want to play the whole first hole, or what do you want? Yeah, let's play the okay. first hole. Like, so in the morning, we played the first hole in real life. Now we're going to play it in VR. Whoa, now I'm big. Yep. <laughs> do I look like a god? Yeah, you're huge. <laughs> Will you ever put feet into the game? We will when we can. Right now they don't okay. track, but as soon as we, yeah, as soon as we can, definitely. They'll make a little shoe or whatever. Yeah, or just better cameras that can see them. Yeah. Oh. Are you, you're just going straight for it. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> it might work out. Sit. Oh no, that's oh, the water. That so that's the wet. water. You can take a molly in if you want, but. All right. Okay. I'm gonna try to try to hit a little draw. Nice. Thank you. I think this is that's like exactly where you ended up earlier today. Yeah. Just in the rough, just in the rough. In the future, we want to have like a course creation tool that our community can use to create courses in whatever way they want. Whoa. And have control over how they look, open like source. the color of the grass, like yeah, totally open source. And in my perfect world, I want those people to be able to design whatever course they want and I want them to be able to sell it if they want to sell it. Maybe they actually even sell tea times on it. Oh, oh man. I want people to be able to pay their bills by contributing to Golf Plus, which helps like the entire ecosystems. Golf Plus wouldn't employ these people. They would be doing it because they can make money on via the community. What I want to do is like I want to build the, you know, the most fun and inclusive like modern global golf society, right? And like everybody that's a part of it gets to decide what the thing is. This is Jim Daly, co-founder and CEO of LinksDAO, a crypto-based startup golf club with a global community of golf enthusiasts who together are reimagining the modern golf and leisure club. I know, it's quite a mouthful, and there's a lot to go through here. It took me some time to get it, but I eventually did, for the most part, so stick with me. We put out there, this is what we want to do, right? This is going to be Links Tower. We're going to go out, we're going to buy a great golf course. We're going to completely rethink community and what it means to be part of a club and all these amazing things. People were excited about it. We spun up a Discord, you know, a few days later, there's thousands of people in Discord just jamming right. and ideating on what this could be and, and how it should be built. 
you know, two weeks later, there's 12,000 people on the Discord, and you know, we we went out, we sold, you know, essentially what amount to, you know, these membership passes with a slew of different benefits, not just the golf course, and people just went crazy for the idea. At the beginning of the year, over 9,000 memberships were sold as NFTs, and in less than 48 hours, they raised over $10 million in cryptocurrency, which now sits in a digital safe waiting for community approval on next steps. You know, we have folks in like 40 countries that are part of the LinkSAO community. That's a lot. Right? And because this is happening on a digital platform, like things can move fast, and what that collective group wants we can help build for them. Right. And as you're building completely out in the open, you need to make sure that you're like over communicating on everything that's going on because everybody's like a like a really um, like willing and excited participant in the project and the adventure. The NFTs were sold at two different levels, both offering buyers certain perks, including governance rights for LinksDAO, discounts and other benefits from community partners, access to special events, and the right to buy memberships at the first ever LinksDAO golf course. We've talked to 28 of the top 30 living golf course architects at this point about you know helping us out with this project. And so it's been a lot of having those conversations and making sure we're doing things the right way because like it's all about delivering for our community. That's yeah. what it's all about. And like, you don't want to go out and buy a golf course a month after you start. You you know buy some dog track and you know it's a mess and doesn't have any irrigation. Like right. you need to do things right. Turns out buying a golf course that meets the needs of the community isn't as easy as you would think. Still, the hope is to have one purchased before the end of the year. How will you know if the Link Stow community is a success? It's buying the golf course, redoing it kind of in the community's image, and then like opening it up. And that is a huge step for us. And that one golf course is what we hope to be the first of like many golf courses across the globe. It's like we continue to build this thing into something bigger and more interesting. And like projects like a Link Stow are gonna kind of help to solidify like, you know, global communities of golf lovers. You know, golf is a, it's very old school, right? Like it's been around a really long time, but we're starting to see like that curve accelerate for, for innovation and, and evolution. So, you know, being a part of that's pretty cool. Yeah, that green speed is no joke. Oh man, testing the limits. <laughs> I was like, please work. <laughs> Getting something out there that's like, you know, not perfect and being comfortable with that and then very quickly learning from your community, like what aspects of this are working better than we expected, what aspects are like not really checking the box. Um, allowed us to kind of move quickly, get stuff out there, get feedback from the community, and then, yeah, basically pivot into like what would allow us to get to that next step. So this one's like perfect for a little cut, if you can uh, yeah. flags over, the, yeah. Come on, cut. Cut more. Uh-oh. You know, it's funny. When the ball goes in the virtual water, it feels just like when it goes in the real water, you know? <laughs> yeah. One of the biggest requests that we've had from players, believe it or not, is like, I really want to be able to throw my club after a bad shot. <laughs> it was like, I was like, well, technically, you can throw <laughs> your controller. But would it actually, it wouldn't leave your body, though. Well, it would if you threw your controller. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you could throw it. It's like, we don't recommend it, but they yeah. want to be able to like yeah. throw the club or like if you hit the ground really hard, they want it to like stick in the ground for a little People while. People like, their destroy rage. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Test the limits. There's companies that hire people like me to kind of break the game to see if it works, you know? Oh, totally. QA master. K Chaos monkey. Hey! Ah! Nice one. <laughs> that was oh fun. My God. Where we see people having the best time in Golf Plus is when they play with other people. And what we would like to do is allow players to meet in the clubhouse and just like talk about golf, you know, look at the clubs in the clubhouse, look at pictures together, eventually have your own section of the clubhouse where you could collect your trophies and the clubs that you've bought in game and that type of a thing to kind of share the experience is like also a big part of it. Since we started the round, I think the best bet is actually gonna be leaving this game, coming back in, and then we can and then oh. we be in practice mode and just like- I just chipped in. No way. Yeah. We're gonna check the recording. Can I replay <laughs> <No> that? <way. laughs> Love it.
Wow, it's crazy when you take it off. Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> dude, that was fun. That's amazing, dude. I can't believe you chipped in. That's that crazy, right? so crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, wow. That's so real in there. It's fun, right? Yeah. 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 You're just in that world. That's it. You're just, that's the goal. It's like you're on a golf course, you're playing golf with friends. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to leave. It's true. I don't want to leave. On the list of best places to work, this is close to the top. But before we wrap up, Ryan shows me one last perk of the job. We got SkyTrack. Okay. Um, just to get a better understanding of like what are all the tools that can be used to get better at golf. That sounded pure. That felt so good. And like what of those tools would make sense in VR as well. Man, that sounds really good. Wow. What? No way, dude, I'm buying these gloves. Oh my <laughs> God. Because ultimately we would love for you to be able to get better at real golf in VR. I should just be done. Like, why am I hitting a guy? I have no idea. Why does you golf just... make you just want to <laughs> keep going? That's, That's the thing about good. golf. It gets you hooked pretty quickly and you'll always want just one more chance at that perfect swing, which is why I'm feeling pretty hopeful about its future today. If we keep finding new ways to expose people to golf, whether online, in virtual reality, or in real life, we can continue to make the game what we want it to be. So in the future, if you see an avatar with a bucket hat on a Hawaiian shirt hanging out at a virtual clubhouse, come say hi, and we'll go play around at any course you want. After all, it's only a few steps away.